Hello everyone, I'm Sleepy and welcome to episode 60, I believe, of the Pokemon Uranium Nuzlocke. I almost said Liquid Crystal, but no, Uranium, we are here. We are ready to continue our journey through the Tando region and we, last episode, we finished our way through Victory Road and I also grinded up the team a decent amount of levels. Everyone's level 80 except for Misty who's level 90 and we are ready to just go in and wreck everything. Yes, yeah, so let's lay off with Misty. Misty seems like a safe lead. And yeah, uh, without further ado, let's go. Wait, Sleepy. Ah, there's Kellen and Professor Bambo. Sleepy, you didn't think I was going to miss your league challenge, did you? I came here as fast as I could when I heard you were making your way through Victory Road. There's no way I'd miss this. After all, this is where... I, wait, what? After all, I was there when it all began. Oh, okay, okay. Sleepy, I know I haven't always been here there for you, but I realize now that I'm determined to make it up, uh, eh, make it up for it. Make up for it. I promise I won't miss a minute of your rise to glory. After all, you are my child. Who else should I, what else should a father do? <clears throat> He's looking around. Hey, have you seen Theo? I thought he, he, he'd been with, uh, with you somehow. Theo and Cameron left uh, the Ranger HQ some time ago, too. I thought they'd be here, but I guess not. After all, they're both still recovering from their battles against Fury. Hey, wait up! Was oh, that them? Hey, let's go. The whole squad's here now. You thought you were gonna challenge the league without me? Heh, <laughs> as if I'd make it that easy on you, Sleepy. We're rivals, so that means wherever you go, I'll be there, too. I will be watching as well, of course. I fully expect to see you both make it to the final round. Haha, <laughs> you can bet on me, Dad. Well, Sleepy, I gotta uh, go make some final preparations. My po my Pokemon will be in tip-top shape. See you in the arena. Alrighty. After all, uh, all after all this time uh, and everything he's still been through, he's still filled with energy. That kid's fighting spirit cannot be stopped. If it comes down to you, uh, to you and Theo in the final, Sleepy, I wonder which one of you will come on top. Only time will tell. Anyway. We're going to take our seats. Good luck out there. Alrighty, it's time. Beyond this point is the champion Tandor Arena. Once you begin, you must continue until you either win you win or you're defeated. Also, no items may be used in battle other than Pokemon, uh, other than what your Pokemon already holds. Are you sure we're ready to enter this arena? Are we ready? Yeah, we're ready. Very well, good luck. It's time. Let's go. Up next, round one. Sleepy versus Angelica. Uh, trainers, prepare your team for, uh, for battle and report to the league attendant when you are ready. Hey yo, epic! Is this everyone I'm battling? I'm pretty sure, like, if I remember correctly, like everything, like everyone we battle is like random. There's like a whole bunch of trainers, and uh, yeah, uh, what was it? I'm not sure if there's a if there's a set ready for the next round. Yes, we are ready. If like every trainer we battle is random, or is like some of them are. But anyway, 30, that means we have to battle four times, I think, if it's a 32-round tournament to make it to the finals. Alrighty. Hello, ladies and gentlemen, people of Tandor. Welcome to the first round of the tournament. We have some of Tandor's best and brightest here to dazzle you with their spectacular battle skills. I can feel the anticipation in the air. These trainers have spent their entire lives preparing for this moment. But only one will be crowned champion today. Who will it be? These trainers, uh, trainers skill in battle will determine that answer. Ooh, I'm so excited. Wow, you look like a really strong trainer. Uh, I'm Angelica. I tra and I trained very... <laughs> very tight let off with a dragon type. Uh, very nice. Very cute. And don't let us fool you. We're really strong too. After all, fairies can stand up with the powerful... Power of fairies, so we're not afraid of any tough looking trainers either. If you aren't acquainted with the power of fairies, then you'll know soon enough. The rules of the battle will be as followed. No items may be used other than what the Pokemon is already uh, already holding. The battle will continue until either side has no Pokemon left that can fight. If both trainers are ready, then battle start. Let's go. Nymphlo okay, I can one shot this. Okay, I can, I can, this is fine. This is fine. This is fine. Skyfall. I am 20 levels ahead of it. Oh, this means this means it's kind of kind of epic though. Mm -hmm. Epic. All right, one down. Uh, Alpico. Oh, that's the that's the the uh, ice type, right? 
if I do remember correctly. Let's go into Garnus. See what it was. I'm pretty sure it's the Ice type though. Yep, there we go. There he is. Power Gem. Loser. How much is this gonna do? That did a lot. More than I would like. But well, this should one shot. There we go. Alrighty. Oh, and also in the meantime, while we well, actually maybe I should focus in the next battle. I'll say Wing the Tiger. Let's go into our boy Snoot. I have no idea what this thing is, but uh, a what is it? One of these. One of these should definitely just take it out. Radio acid. That's that's the, that's the move. Oh, I was a little scared there, I wasn't gonna kill. Near the end, it looked like it was about to live on a sliver of health or something. Sylveon. Sylveon. I don't know who, to, who, who do I go out into. I don't have any poison. Should I just leave Snoot out? Snoot's holding a choice scarf though, right? So I have to go for radio acid. Hmm. I guess I'll stay in. I'm 10 levels ahead, so it should be all right. Let's see how, how, how it happens here. It's a 60 base power move, so it, okay, it doesn't kill. It burned though, nice. Moonblast, okay. We should live this. Yeah, okay. We take about a third, epic. Okay, you can't use items though. Haha, so this thing, this thing's, uh, this thing's out of here. Sylveon was actually kind of, kind of a little threat there, not gonna lie. That could have been pretty bad if it was a crit. Aroma Tease. This is a Mega, isn't it? Only our team had Megas. Haha. <laughs> um, how, how does this work? Should we switch out? Go for Psychic? Does this thing have a Mega form? Not that I know of, so I'll just switch out to Cerebellum here. And just do some scouting. We might as well. Just, uh, everyone, everyone gets a time to shine in this field. Two more Pokemon, okay. Let's go for a Psychic? Yeah, I think it's a good move. How long does this do? Nice. I'm still Life Orb, okay. Reflect? Uh, nice! You want to reflect against a, a special attacker? Epic, epic, let's go. Free kill, free KO. If you went for Light Screen, that would have been a problem. These, I want to, like, all this AI I fight, AI that I fight always goes for like the, what was it, uh, Serenite, that's the Water Fairy type. They always go for, uh, whatchamacallit, <laughs> the other Light Screen. For example, if I t attack with a physical attacker, they go for Light Screen. And if I go for, uh, what was it, a special attack, they go for Reflect. <laughs> oh man, that's crazy. Okay, let's go Gossamere. This is the last Pokemon. I won't have to worry about anything getting destroyed by the Lightning. Alright, Gossamere. Let's go! Activate his Stormbringer. Man, this thing looks so ridiculous. This can, this, what was it, candy corn Halloween guy. This is, this is dead. It's gone. Gone. Obliterated. There we go. Goodness, you are really quite strong. Oh, let's go. Zero deaths. We tried our, we tried our hardest but in this battle, but what, but, but that's what counts. What a match. A thrilling display from trainers and Pokemon alike. Let's go. Up next, round two. Sleepy versus Sir Goldcorn. Sir Goldcorn. Epic. Is my team fully healed? Ayo, my team's fully healed. Epic. Only off of Misty again. Like, surely it's not gonna be another um uh dragon type, right? Hold on though. Yeah. Also, quick question of the day, what is your favorite anime protagonist? Me, I have no idea. <laughs> Probably uh well, I'm gonna go, one second, I'm gonna take a quick bathroom break, I'll be right back. Alright, I'm back. Uh, but yeah, as I was saying, yes, I am ready for the next round. Uh, my favorite anime protagonist will probably be, uh, like, Joseph, I think, from part two of JoJo's. JoJo's, it's like, it's, it's just so enjoyable. But, uh, yeah, but I still haven't finished it. It's still on my list of anime to finish. Oh, I haven't, uh... Uh, I am Sir Gold for an epic, but well, let me finish my thoughts first on an anime, but yeah, I still haven't finished part two. I got to the part where they put like the rings inside him, the poison rings, and they want like so he doesn't run away so he can fight the other guys later. 
made it through that part. I still gotta finish. That's still, that's still on my list of anime I have to finish. Uh, so we'll I represent a refined style of battling. A direction which sadly is going away, with, uh, away it seems, but I shall prove that refinement still has its place in the arena. Please allow us to have a clean, civil match. The rules of the battle are follows. Okay, okay, you've already heard this. But yeah, I'll probably make a video one time about just talking about like the animes I've seen, how I like them. Spike's also really good. I really like Spike from Cowboy Bebop. He's really fun. All right, okay, sure. All right, nice, clean, uh, Skyfall. Sudden Strike. Refined? Did you, just, did you just sucker punch me? Man, that doesn't seem like a very refined move, Sudden Strike, because I know, I know for a fact that I have speed deep. Well, maybe I don't actually. Misty? I don't think it's very, Misty's very fast, but, uh, it's Blender Pal. Oh, it's Night, I'm getting Nightbird vibes. Um, this thing has, I don't, uh, this thing has Flash Cannon. I don't want to send them out. What's that? Mmm. I want to send out Midas or Garnet, but they, it has, they have Flash Cannon. So, you know what? Like, staying with Misty. Let's just go for a Thunderbolt. This the, the thing is gonna get one shot. It's gonna get one shot. Yeah, get out of here. Get out of here. Alrighty. Whimsmacox. Ah. Uh, nothing. My team. Half of my team is weak against grass. <laughs> That's funny. Uh. Snoot, uh, let's just stay with let's just stay in with Misty. This thing's actually part fairy, and this thing's probably gonna mega on me, but I don't care. That actually might be a little scary. Didn't mega? Didn't this thing get a mega? I'm thinking of something else. I have no idea. Yeah, yeah, this thing's definitely very slow. My Misty. Very slow, but she is powerful. She is 20 levels over, everyone. Ampharos. This thing's a mega, right? This thing's gonna whip out. The old mega evolution. Should I go into Snoot? And this thing's gonna mega evolve, right? You know what? <laughs> I have no idea. Let's just go into Midas and go for an earthquake. What does this? What can this thing do to me? Yeah, let's go into Midas and hit, hit him with a choice banded earthquake. Ten levels over. Where's my earthquake? There we go. This is, this is gonna die. This is choice banning, and we have speed, yeah, no chance. And, and it's not Mega. Does he have a Mega? Maybe he doesn't. Maybe these, these two guys don't have Megas. Uh, Hero Loom. No idea what that is. But you know what? Let's just go into Snoot, as long as it's not a Steel type. And there's no way this guy is nuclear. A nuclear type. Alright, Zeno Queen, let's go. Um, that's a fighting type, I think. Radio Acid. Boom. This is it. it's over. It's over. Get out of here. Okay. What next? Baryonet. Uh this thing's a is this thing a mega? I have no idea. Okay. Misty? I I mm, mm. Yeah, it's going to Misty. I can't really afford to let anything go down here because um uh, we, we probably have a lot more. We have a lot more battles up ahead. Yeah, this is the last Pokemon. It's not Mega? What? Oh well. You know what? That's fine with me. That is fine with me. If it's not Mega, man, that's all. It's all good here. All right. That goes down. Epic. We have defeated Sir Goldcorn. I say, epic. Goodness, that was quite a. Uh, a Quite a thorough route. May I require? I may require some tea and biscuits after this match. Oh, I thought that announcer was talking. <laughs> what a match! A thrilling display from trainers and Pokemon alike. Let's go. Up next, round three. Sleepy versus Cali. Let's go. This is this is the girl with. I know. I remember this one. This is one of the gym leaders. This is like the one with uh, what call it? The water type trainer. So obviously, obviously we are leading with the boy Gossamir. Well, actually, does this? They have six. You know what? I'll lead off with Snoot. Actually, I'm gonna lead off with Snoot, and then next round I'm gonna switch out uh, with Gossamir and then set up because my Thunder only lasts five turns. My my into my Lightning Weather. So without further ado, let's go. Yes, I am ready for the next round. Let's go. I am hyped. Alrighty. Alright, we're back in round three with the quarterfinals. Quarterfinals, so I have 
probably I'll probably do two more battles depending on how long this lasts. One of 30, uh, the 30 to, uh, two trainers that have entered the arena, only eight remain. Eight remain. Okay, quarterfinals. Alright, let's go. Whew. Hey there, Sleep. I wanted to thank you for stopping by, uh, stopping the power plant to pass. You really did a good thing for Beale Beach City and all of Tando. Ever since I heard about that, I've been itching for a rematch. This is my time. My team and I are going all out. I hope you'll go on all, all out. Okay, the rules, blah blah blah. Oh my dear, little itchy. Alright. So, quarterfinals. That means we have technically three more battles. So, I'll probably do two of them and save the last one for the next episode. Cover real. Oh. One second. Alright, I'm back. Someone just at my door. But, alright, so, uh, what was it? let's go for radio acid. Obviously, aqua jet. This is gonna be super effective, but it's just not gonna do much. That did a lot more than I expected. There wasn't even a crit. <laughs> that would have been terrifying if it crit. But luckily it didn't. Okay. A crit here and I die. A crit aqua jet here and I die. So, you know what? Let's just, um, you know, skip. Mm, what should I go out into? Misty? Let's go into Misty, actually. We could live, probably live in Ice Fang. Because Ice Fang is not very powerful. And what, else, what other physical moves is get? See? An Aqua Jet crit right there would have killed me. And, like, I know, I'm not risking that. Okay, do I have anything with priority? I do not. I have speed. Let's go. A epic. It didn't go for Aqua Jet that time. Alright, nice. Nice. Brain War. My Brain War is better. Gossamir, your time to shine, man. You're gonna set up the lightning, and I'm gonna, like, every thunder is gonna be 100% accurate. Let's go. Bring up the Stormbringer. Epic. Nice. Uh, let's go for thunder. Did, did it, is, is that, are my animations on? They should be. Yeah, yeah, they, they are. They are. Alright. One down. Alright. Now, uh, next up. Corsary. Oh, this thing's getting one shot as well. This is rock and rock and water, not ground water. Yeah, I got a little worried there for a second, but nope, nope. We are all good. It lived. I thought it if it go if it went for a mirror code, it would have it would have killed me. If that thing mirror coded right there. Oh my god. That's Okay, okay. Let's Dragon Pulse to get rid of it. If that mirror coded, I would have been gone. Oh my god. That's a ground type. Um. Uh. I, I have Ice Beam though on Cerebellum. Let's go to Cerebellum. I have Ice Beam. I can probably one shot it. That was scary. Okay. Alright, Ice Beam. This is quad affected. This should kill it. This should, it must have a focus dash or something. Nice. Okay, let's go. Cool. Oh, but the lightning's gonna hit me though, right? Eat shit. What? Wait, what? What are you sending out? I have no idea what you're sending out. But you know what? Let's go for it. Let's go into Gossamir. Why, did the, why didn't the lightning hurt Terabellum? Tress. This thing's also water ground, so hmm, we're in the top. We're in the tough spot right here. Let's go into Cerebellum. Actually, what what can this thing do to Cerebellum? I can yawn it and then go on to someone else. Earth power. We're gonna eat that. What what just drop right there? Ah, oh, that's, that's annoying. The thunderstorm subsided. Okay. No, ah, I didn't want to do that. I want to do this. I want to yawn this. Put it to sleep so I can get a safe switch into something, a stealth rock. That's annoying. But, uh, we can do it, though. We can make do. Let's go for a... Psychic. Psychic sounds good. Can we, can we two-shot this? I think we can, actually. We can now. With, and now it's asleep. We can... Ooh, with the left le lefties, though. You know what? Let's risk it. Let's go for a surf, though. We got that power boost. We have that rain power boost. Can we do it? Yes, we got it. Okay, nice. It's 
Cerebellum is taking quite a hit, taking quite some hits though. Gyarados. Hmm. Is it Gossamer's time? Hmm. I could go into. Who has higher speed, Gossamer or Stilts? Let me check that. 144. Two, okay, Goss Gossamer. Alright, Gossamer. E e it's time. It's time, Gossamer. This thing's mega, right? Ow, that, 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 that does hurt. Alright. Stormbringer. We're, we're switching that rain up. Intimidate. That's fine. We are a special attacker. Oh, here's the mega. Mega Gyarados. Mold Breaker, whatever. Now, instant thunder. Oh, it feels so nice. Just like landing those thunders every time. Let's go. I was a little worried there because if it would have lived, it might have killed. Shell Bell Recovery, nice. Let's go. Phew, that was fun. Oh, that was pretty epic. That was an epic battle indeed. I'll be cheering you from here on out. What a match. A thrilling display from trainers and Pokemon alike. We are in the semi-finals now. We will do one more battle, round four. CB versus Daron. That's the guy with the, with the, whatchamacallit, dragon type, right? Yeah, we'll lead off with Snoot again. Snoot's a uh, good old reliable lead. Um, and yeah, we're going to do one more battle, then call it an episode. Ready for the next round? Yup. Let's go. We're going to Mr. Mr. Dragon. No, with Dive. Wait, wait, no, no, no. This is not. This, that's not the Dragon guy. What was the Dragon guy's name? This is the Rock guy. Okay, let's go. Well, it's been a while, hasn't it? When I battled you, since you were just a naive child and fumbling around in the dark. Now you have faced me in the arena with confidence. Your fighting spirit is bright. Oh my god. Like a bright shining light. I can tell you are no longer afraid. Haha, <laughs> that's why I like to see you. Show me your feelings system battle. Alright, rules, blah, 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 blah. Yes, I know, I'm not allowed to use items, whatnot. Our right, time. I haven't battled this guy in a while. This guy is the second gym leader, right? Vernon, I think, was the dragon guy's name, not Dagger. Turafang is the poison type. Alright. Intimidate. Intimidate. Uh, not, not gonna work on me, man. Radio acid. Boom. It's gonna this one shot, right? One shot city. That did not one shot. We burned it though, nice. Go. If we didn't burn. Okay, okay. The burn actually came in super clutch there. Alright, le lefties, nice. Alrighty. Another radio acid. Looking pretty nice. Obviously, I think this thing's pure poison. That might be why it lived. Okay. Burbo. Burbo. Frog. That, that's poison and water. So we should stay in. All right, another radio acid. This this is quad effective. Man. This should one shot. Is Snoop just gonna wreck everything here? He should. Oh, insta insta KO. Let's go. Snoop's gonna be at level 81. This is epic Turlar. Um, the only thing I'm worried about is this thing out speeding me. Should we take the risk? Misty though, Misty's higher level. Oh yeah, we have Cerebellum. I just realized Cerebellum can add ice beam. Why don't you go into Cerebellum? Why risk a crit? I mean, this is a little terrifying though. Too far. I Dragon Rush. Ooh, I mean, we would have lived that though. Even a crit, I think. But just like a little scary though. Dragon Rush is just scary, but just uh, very focus act. Okay. We got the freeze. Let's go. Let's go, big pog in the chat. Yeah, it's frozen. No full restores for you, buddy. None for me either, but yeah. A full restore, a full restore with a can. Pretty clutch for you right there. Okay. Nice. Sableye. Don't have any fairy type moves, I don't think. Misty. Let's go on a Misty. Have we brought out Misty in a while? I don't know. Well, Misty's gonna take this thing. Is, is this a Mega? Are we already on the Mega? Well, no. He has three more Pokemon. So the Mega should be in a few turns. Yeah, this thing... Unless this thing has a Focus Sash and has, like, Mirror Coat or something, we're fine. There we go. 
that save light without Frank, sir? What are you doing, man? What are you doing, Gliscor? Nope, I want to go into Cerebellum again. Because I want to Ice Beat. Yeah, this is easy. This is pretty easy. Man, this man should have got some should have got some better Pokemon, man. Earthquake. Is that gonna be scary? I don't know. We should, we should, we should be fine. Oh, <laughs> again, a crit. Those crits, man, are absolutely terrifying. Alright, one shot, nice. We're almost done here, guys. Ah, that I, I, I don't like that though. This thing's a mega. Okay. This thing's a mega. We're going into Misty. Cerebellum has taken quite the damage cold to it. So Misty, you're gonna have to finish it finish it off, Misty. This thing's a mega. I am positively sure. Isn't it gonna stone edge or something? What? That looks like a Darmanitan! That little thing on his chest! Oh, what's that look like? Darmanitan? Yeah, that kinda looks like a Darmanitan. I, I, don't, I don't think I've ever seen that. That looks pretty cool, though. Megahorn? Are you serious? What? I was expecting, like, a stone edge or something. This is no e easy peasy. It looks crazy. Easy. In a <laughs> unnecessary crit. Okay. That's fine. Well fought, indeed. You deserve this victory. This guy should have got more uh, in this game. Like, uh, he wasn't very relevant in the story, but I mean, he's so cool. He's a cool dude. He's kind of like a bootleg Clay, I'd say. Clay is a lot better of a gym leader than him. Uh, Guahaha, I played nothing less from you. Go on into the next round, then you deserve it. And the winner is Sleepy. Congratulations on advancing to the final round. The final battle will take place in the Champions Arena. Its winner will be crowned the Champion of Pandor. Let's go. Is next up is a champion round. Make your preparation and uh, preparations and all that. Let's go. But with that, we are gonna end off the episode right here. Thank you guys very much for watching. And if you enjoyed, smash like, smash subscribe, and all that stuff. Because in the next episode might be the finale, depending on, like, I don't know exactly what happens next round, or what doesn't exactly happen, but, yeah, if it, yeah, but, <laughs> I'm just stuttering over my words right now, just cause, like, it's crazy, we're almost at the end of the series, this long, lasting series is coming to a close soon, potentially in the next episode, but, you know, like, yeah, we shall see, so thank you guys very much for watching, and, with that all said, Peace out.